Let's discuss now on your news today with me, Muftar Nabila Abdullah, former Black Stars captain, Asamoah Jan, has eulogized uh, Ghana coach uh, Chris Hilton, saying that his credentials uh, has put him in a pedestal that makes him one of the best coaches to have ever taken over the Black Stars coaching job. However, he believes that with the current form of the players, the job is going to be very difficult for him. He says that the latter part of the uh, various European seasons, most of the players, their form has dipped. Experienced coach, you know, is is somebody who is, um, I think, uh, suitable for the for the national team. You know, he's he started well, quite well. He's, he's doing what he had to do. He's a very very good coach, you know, and. Uh, Everything will depend on, on him and uh, a bit worried because um, this later stages of the um, league, you know, you saw players from dropping, which is a bit uh, worried, you know, so um, but when you come to the national team, it's a different thing altogether, it's a different thing altogether and um, I'm sure they've, they've played for quite a, a long time and then they know how to just do everything together. Everything is okay, but um, I'm a bit worried about this recent form that our, our players are having and uh, as i said you know with the national team they said it's a different thing they can they can come and prove themselves and uh when you talk about chris chris has done what he had to do it depends on the players it depends on the uh, management and the support from from Ghanaians to to just deliver Division 1, Zone 1 champions, uh, Tenobo Fuakwa, they returned to Sinyani to a heroic World Cup after beating uh, Tashimana 11 Wonders to secure qualification to the Ghana Premier League for the first time in 16 years. Their arrival was covered by my colleague, Precious Semevo, and he's put together this report. For 16 years in the wilderness of Ghana football, both Fuakwatano fans earned the right to dance to the Ghana Premier League after beating 11 Wonders to the Zone 1 slot in the playoff match in Accra. The team was hugely welcomed in Sunyani, where they presented a trophy to the Tanoso and Sunyani traditional councils, Bono Regional Minister, the Regional Chief Imam, and the general public. But beyond the qualification is the issue of an acceptable venue to play their home games. The Sunyani Coronation Park comes to mind, a venue that requires a facelift. Foster Opoku Boache is the Bono Regional Director of Sports Authority. It is being on record that we need to actually attend to the state of the Coronation Park. There are a whole lot of things that we intend to do as I speak. The immediate attention that we need is for us to have a new dress room and we work on the, on the pitch as well as the inner perimeter. It is an additional responsibility to myself and my team as well as the people of Bono Region. But we are trying to put measures in place to ensure that all these things are put so that by the beginning of the season, Bofakwa will play their first match at the Coronation Park. Bono Regional Minister Justina Usu Banahini assured the team in fans of serious steps to help improve the Coronation Park. Board members and the management, the first point of call. Together with the board and management members, we will call on the sports minister to come to our aid, having secured the qualification. All 12 members of parliament in the region, whether in opposition or opposition, will also have to join others to help. While you bring trips of sun, I bring cement, others donate different items, and then together, we will be moving forward. That's your sports for now. We do have more sports stories on myjoyonline.com and also at 2 p.m. when we come your way, which is sports today. Up next is World News.